Our career, our professional life, is like a huge roller coaster ride, where one minute it takes us seemingly into the clouds above, like we can almost touch the sky, and then quickly pulls us down to where we're just barely scraping the earth below. Some of us choose to love the thrill of our career. We keep our hands pumped way up in the air, screaming with delight. While others of us grip that handrail so tight it hurts our wrists. We clench our teeth, wishing it was over. Some of us are defiant about being on the ride in the first place. Or we just experience the ride like we have to gut it out and hold our hands up, but we're not really enjoying the ride very much. Sometimes we're moving way too slow and the anticipation of the unknown becomes very scary. We can't see what's ahead and we start imagining the potential drop is just too much to handle. And we start thinking we want the ride to stop. Sometimes we can see ahead a little bit. We look at all those twists and turns that are coming and it excites us and we think, wow, that looks like a lot of fun. And then other times we can be moving so fast professionally, we can't even take everything in around us. And sometimes that means we're upside down. We're all on this ride together. And we as Christians, perhaps above all, can take great comfort knowing that God is the one who designed the ride. He is the chief engineer. He knows every twist and turn, high and low, up and down. And he will never let the roller coaster come off the track. There's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to our career and our professional aspirations. The roller coaster is not going anywhere. Even though it feels like we're sometimes facing things we just can't handle, we know God is never going to give us more than we can handle. I think this is the Profound truth nestled in the Sermon on the Mount, that segment of verses between Matthew 6.25 to Matthew 6.34. Here Jesus calls us to move away from worry, to just let go, to, in a sense, enjoy the ride. Because God has our back. He won't let the roller coaster come off the track. When you look at that segment of passages, Jesus says, Don't worry about our life. Don't worry about our clothing. Don't worry about our body. Don't worry about our food. Aren't these the things that we use our career earnings to purchase in a sense? Even when it comes to our body, you know, the health care that we get. I think it applies perfectly. He's telling us, just let go. Enjoy the ride. And it's very hard to have fun when we're worrying. Instead, we can enjoy every one of those twists and turns every up or down, even if we're upside down or in a loop or going really slow or can't see what's ahead, we can choose to enjoy it. I believe this is captured beautifully in the 1989 Ron Howard film, Parenthood. It's that scene where Steve Martin's character, Gil, is arguing with his newly pregnant with their fourth child wife, Karen, complaining about having the uncertainty of a fourth child in the world. In fact, they're arguing kind of aggressively. When, out of nowhere, Grandma, played by brilliantly by Helen Shaw, walks into the scene and she starts to tell them both about the time her grandfather took her on her first ever roller coaster ride. If you've never seen the film or don't remember that scene, it is worth renting and watching. Actually, you can get it for free on Amazon Prime, but you can rent it on YouTube for very little money. It is a very moving parallel to how we get to choose how we view this life. It really is up to us whether or not we enjoy the ride because it is happening to all of us, whether you believe in God or not. And everyone experiences the same or very similar ups and downs. It's up to us how we choose to look at our career, how we choose to experience our professional lives. And it really makes an impact on others when we choose to experience our career with a fun and exciting and thrilling frame of mind. In fact, when we do that, we make it more fun for everyone. And we glorify God in the process. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationeer.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.